He wants me to oh, hire you. a car rental Congrats service. On the Tyrell win, my friend, Kappa. <laughs> thank you very much, chat. <laughs> yeah, that's what chat would have said. They wouldn't have come up with some way to, to sour the milk. It's like you died six times. Just congrats on the win. Thank. Could you be the spokesperson for chat? Chat? Yes, the, uh, something car rental service, water tap. I think I'm onto it. I never knew how much I would miss chat until it was taken from me. It shows that you should appreciate what you have. Call your internet service provider right now and tell them how much you appreciate them. Or something with your family. Don't wait till it's too late. Don't wait till you're disconnected. Chromi Diablo Samuro Zuljin. Wow, you four man kiwi don't take a healer. Final one is a healer. They went mouth Jaina. So icy veins mouth innervate synergy. Oh yes, I can't move. Um as I just I'm just gonna let him pick talent first every time and then I'll take it. Good start so far. He asked you if you had any impression on how he carried you. <laughs> Did he? Did he really? Surging dash. Oh wow. No, I did not have any impression of that. Uh, surging dash, huh? I'll get shove. So I have Q on quick cast. And uh oops. and I have W on uh, smart cast. I mean not on quick cast. We are a monster. Oh, we sieging now, bro. Who would have known that we'd be such a good couple, like a lot? So far, anyway. They do have Karazim for the seven sided counter, but I think it's overstated how much Karazim seven sided is a counter to Chogal. After all, we can run away. Um, we can multi block. And they need the healing generally. Chogal has a lot of serious damage. Not taking healing off can be pretty risky. Ah, uh, this way. Oh, that was far. Uh, what did he take it for? I let him choose first. Boom bomb, basic attack. Okay, so we're playing bruiser build. Got it. Bruiser build means 
I will get b double back. That's the bruiser build. Yeah, how come my final? Oh, <laughs> I'm retarded. How come my final W doesn't show up? I thought. It's because it bounces back and it broke back. A good kill, brother. They all are. Kill them all. Um, let's see, we're doing bruiser build. Oh yes, but this one's really good on Samuro. Nearby enemies could be good, but I'll get double trouble for Samuro. Every time you hit consuming blaze, Q, the cooldown is reduced. Otherwise, I would go Edge of Madness, but... Ah, Chogal is pretty serious business. It's it's full chaos. I wanted to pick those gems up. I, I can use more Z, I think. It's an escape, but we don't have to escape right now. There we go, I used it. <laughs> I have no more escapes. <laughs> the cooldown reduction is so good. I saw this on Reddit, on YouTube. It's like a million cues in a row against the Samuro and a full, presumably, quick match team uh, who was chasing a, co uh, a Cho into the court. Nice. Let's see which one did he take. Fire Eater. Yes, Bruiser Build. Uh, Hammer of Twilight, that's Bruiser Build. Good, I'm glad he did. Uh, Twisting Nether is part of that as well. Oh, <laughs> the push uh, disturbed him a bit. Right. Right. The 
Get him! I got him, I got him, I got him! One more, one more, one more, one more! Yes! Worth it! <laughs> that was so worth it, man. It only took three heroes, 20 seconds. Uh, damage increases bounce, movement speed, shield. You know, we haven't been dying. I've never tried this, but this is the classical one. Let's get the shield. Let's not get overconfident. Not die, not now. Let's get back in there, Lekavi. to minions humiliation I got the target in my sights Nice shot! Wow! Not half bad play by this person. I didn't know his rank when I started playing with him, but I'm not displeased. We have enough to pay, we should. Reaching through time. Fist of Fury, seven sided. Blade Storm. Um, Shadow Flame damage to heroes. Let's get that one. What did he take? Yeah, Twilight Fail Multiple, good. <laughs> nice. Whoa. <laughs> Shove, stasis, molten block, plenty of uh, protection. Nice, man. 
very nice. Shatter them. Nice. Wow. That was fun. Go. Leave with your lives. MVP. What? What about Cho? I couldn't have done it without you. I vote for you. That was good movement, good footwork. Cool, so yeah, in my opinion, there's two Cho'Gal builds. You can probably vary uh, based on the comp from time to time. But basically, you should decide together whether you're gonna do the Bruiser build, all the short distance stuff, bonus damage, uh, auto attack talents, such as Hammer of Twilight. Twilight Village should always take it, it's too good. Uh, but like Fire Eater, you're not always gonna be able to do that. Like, let's say if you're against Tychus, Leoric, Uther, you're not gonna go Fire Eater. You're gonna go for uh, something that keeps you a little bit further away, but abuses the fact that they don't have enough sustained heals to go around. Lots of poke. But with Fire Eater, uh, Hammer of Twilight, Rune Gauntlet, you're gonna get massive burst at close uh, range, which means that the Gaul should also spec for close range abilities. This is so you can take out Samuro Diablo, or if you're Surging Fist on someone, whoever happens to be unfortunate enough to be next to you. 13 Dread Shield is pretty much always the best. You can go for the damage, but this has a lot of value. And then uh, Giant Scorcher takes down Diablo and so on. This time, no support. Cho'Gal, Leo, Linara, Zul'jin against Artana, Zul'jin, Varian, Medivh, Gul'dan. So they have kind of a support after a fashion. And because they don't have healing, we could go for a poke build. On the other hand, against Artanis and Varian, we're very unlikely to be able to really stay away for long because they kind of charge in. So a bruiser build might still be best. I but you know what? You. I'm just gonna follow up it on whatever he takes. Also, Tank Zebo in Mage Brawl is the best. Yeah. It may have converted me to an Azebo main. Thanks <laughs> for tonight. Thank you, Dentro. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, if, if ever you see the opponent has uh, two mages in a Hero League draft, feel free to take Anubarak and Nazebo with Superstition. It is actually pretty insane. Uh, he went for Blazing Bulwark. This time, this is actually also part of the Bruiser build. The previous one, the Q, I kind of see it uh, as interchangeable. Really? Don't know where he's gonna go yet. Do I still want nudge? Is there something to dodge? Not really. This time I might go eye or spurred on. Uh, I'll get the uh, spurred onward this time. Well done. Might have to go on here. Now. 
We can just heal Fanta then. Don't have time for anything more. <laughs> Everyone is staying. Go in, go in. Bombs away. What a team player. Um, we're still thinking. I will choose after he does. Same one. I'll do a double back as well. When you go for a rune gauntlet, it means you're going for melee build. And melee is good with double back. You don't really need the range or the non destruction. Don't let him mount up. Oops. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Killing spree. Hey, there. We actually got more skulls, finally. Uh, double Trouble was okay, but they don't have Samuro now. I'll get Edge of Madness. The true melee build. He got Fire Eater again. When I hear that Kylo Ren skin, it reminds me that I haven't seen Rogue One yet. I set the appointment a few times to go, but something came up every time. Star Wars. I watch everything that has Spock in it. <laughs> Looks like it's a fight. Count me in. Bombs away! 
<laughs> Oops. <laughs> the angling suddenly went off funny. Oh, nice push. Push them into the towers. This time I'll get Shadow Bolt Volley. I think both are good, and the other one was definitely good last game. So now I want to try Shadow Bolt. Twisting Nether does 676 damage, massive slow. Uh, this one, way more damage, harder to hit though. Nice. How are we doing? Not bad. Good kill, brother. They all are. <laughs> yeah, a bit harder to hit, especially when people are angling. Have more Z. Oops, I just used Z. I thought maybe we wanted to run. Where are we going? Oh, tap. Yes. Actually. Having someone decent, and this guy is a bit better than decent, but having someone decent uh, play Cho for you is a pretty good exercise in stopping greed and overextension. Because you don't get to decide for yourself. Where are you going? For example, if that Artanas had a responsible driver, he would not have been dead. Jumping in. To three people, well, four people by himself. Jogar can't double. So it's supposed to do three. It's supposed to be 264, but it's routinely doing 340 or 320, depending on how close they are, thanks to Edge of Madness. Not bad. I think casting it from further away and sooner really helps your Cho know that you're casting it and allows him to position better. I can even use Z to position appropriately. Um, I get Dread Shield once again. Again, we're we're ahead, but it doesn't mean we should start taking greedy talents. We'd like to remain ahead, and it has proven pretty much to be the best talent. Seventy skulls, nice. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Phew. Well played. Well played, Chuck. Very nice. That 
That just looks wrong. <laughs> Come, Havoc! Come, Infinite Knight! Bombs out! Your killing spree has <laughs> Our first misstep. Is it because I turned on volley? It's a pretty short CD, 60 seconds. My bad. Ha ha ha. Oh, the troll killed the deer in the woods. Uh oh. Okay. He took the moving regen. <clears throat> Are you prepared to two extra bombs the mines. shadow flame damage to heroes or slow uh, we'll do the hero bombs thing Leo shouldn't be grouping, it should be splitting. Uh, split until you meet is pretty much the Haunted Mind strategy. I like that we're clearing this. They are like absolutely wasting time. Dingo. You know what? I think I got my hurry up oath back from that because I just got 20 hits. And uh, the hurry up oath says every time an enemy hero gets hit with an ability. So Shadow Bolt pretty much just gives you 40 seconds of CDR. Maybe we could have lived if we ran right away, but I don't think so. He turned on Task Dingo. He was one life. He was definitely going to get a few hits off. Still, that chase. Chat message privacy is off. Okay. We get a lot of skulls again. Hey, I cannot emote. No dance, no taunt. Got him. No. The shields. Bombs away. <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, we retreat. That was really well done. Nice. He's gonna task Dingo at the end, so she should be mindful of this, and she is. I can see that Lunara has learned to respect Zuljin. That was awesome, man. You notice how my camera gets kind of awkward? Like, when I'm like running away and trying to cast Shadow Bolt? That's because I normally use mouse wheel to navigate, not keyboard. So, when I'm aiming, it's a bit hard for me to move the camera, but I still aim well, I think. Bombs out. We must move 
Oops, I just hit a C. I wanted to man, so I lost. Hurry up, oh. I'm just gonna nuke down the keep. Psychotic break. Get back in there. <laughs> Psychotic break gives you a passive five percent ability damage, and if you die, you something very funny will happen. Read this talent, guys. It's 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 so funny. Wait, let me, let me show you at at the end. You have served me well that was cool. MVP. Yes, that is fair. One each. Cool. Uh, show you the talents again. I I think he took everything the same except one, but I had a few changes too. So this time he took Blazing Bulwark. <coughs> Bulwark. Katoon's Gift. I got Giant Scorcher again. Dread Shield again, but I had Edge of Madness. And this time Spurred Onward. Psychotic Break. Increases your ability damage by 5%. Upon dying, the cooldown of your heroic ability is reset, and you can continue to use abilities for 10 seconds. So, you can't see Cho or Gaul. There's just kind of like a very vague spirit shadow thing. And I can cast Shadowbolt Volley again on the core, with bonus 5% ability damage. Before as well, bonus damage, but also after. And I can cast Q, W, anything I like. Just no E. That was pretty close. 